It is no exaggeration to say that there are many animals on Earth. Though a consensus has not yet been reached, scientists say that there are at least 1,000. Even taking that as a conservative estimate, it's still a lot. So it's crucially important that we're aware of how to identify animals so as to make sure we only consume the edible kind. And that's why we're here today. I, the very Reverend Matthew Welton, will be taking you through the delicate art of bird watching. Now the object of bird watching is to see as many birds as possible, but as I'm sure at least some of you will be aware, many birds live outdoors. Some of these birds have recently learned the ability to fly, so that's why I've come here, to this small stream of water. Like many animals in the United Kingdom, birds require water, so we shall set up our little camp here and wait for a bird to come to us. Now before we start looking at the birds, the type of which are currently interrupting the shoot, we must first be able to identify the birds. Now there are many factors that we can consider that will help us do this. The first factor we'll be looking at is plumage. Now, many birds have a distinctive coat of feathers. See here, for example, the Moroccan longsout. Or indeed, the Bolivian perineum. Or perhaps the South Asian scrotus. Much the same as we might identify a celebrity by the clothes they wear, we can identify many birds by the coats they own. The cry or squawk of a bird is also an important factor in identifying what type of bird is making said noise. Now, listen here to the cry of the magpie. Or perhaps we shall hear the squawk of a dove. The honk of an ostrich, or indeed the cry of the lesser bothered cock. Well then, why have you called me? And bearing in mind, it is it is now two in the morning. So now we know how to identify a bird. We're ready to look at the birds now. Obviously, because they fly, some birds can be quite difficult to see and, and work out what they are. So uh, it's recommended by the formal aviation authority of the British Isles that you bring along on your bird watching exploits some binoculars or a telescope indeed. Uh, however, those are very expensive and I don't own any of those things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, to wear some glasses and hope that they help me. Um, no, they're not, they're not massive help, so all I'm going to do is continue to put on glasses uh -huh, yeah, until, until I can bud watch. This is much better. So, now, armed with the, uh, the knowledge to identify birds, uh, the, the place to identify birds, and the tools to identify birds, I'm ready to now begin the process of bird watching. Now, be very quiet, or the birds won't come. Actually, that's a bit shit, isn't it? I don't think bud watching's 